If you spend any time playing or working outside, you will probably end up tying knots to join two ropes, uh, weighting those ropes, and then struggling to untie the knot. And I'm talking like joining two ropes to get a bear hang or extending a rope into the woods to pull something out with your car, like a rock, a log, or even helping another vehicle out of a ditch. And so you're gonna put a lot of stress on the rope, a lot of stress on that knot, and they're really hard to untie. So enter the Carrick Bend. This is a super easy knot to tie and a super easy knot to untie. We're gonna test it today by stressing it by pulling as hard as I can on this tree back here until it's locked tight. And then I'll show you how simple it is to release it again. The Carrick Bend is especially useful for very stiff knots or even on cables in a pinch. You can also see it's a kind of cool or decorative looking knot since it's from the basket weave knot family. So first, of course, is how do you tie the Carrick Bend? So I'll show you from this view and then my view as well. So the Carrick Bend, you start by making a fish shape. So you cross that over and you'll see I'm taking and spinning this so that the short end is on top of the long end or the, you know, the, the working end is on top of the standing end. And you want to leave a little extra. You'll see why at the end. Next, we're going to actually pull a little more again, a little extra. Uh, more than you would think, and we're going to lay that across the body of the fish. And we're going to do the basket weave kind of motion. We're going under and over throughout the knot. So this is creating a couple holes where we're going to be going under and over here. So we cut that fish in half, and then, and you see I, I'm trying to pinch uh, the different points with my fingers to try to keep that shape. That's gonna make it a lot easier to tie. So then we are going to take and go under, over, under, <clears throat> over, and under. So we're gonna end up with that knot I showed you earlier where we have these two intersecting X's or interwoven fish shapes. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hold on to the standing ends and you're going to pull and the knot is going to kind of change itself into this. So this is of course the form that you'll be pulling on it and um, weighting it in. So now from your view, we're going to uh, use a bit extra and make that fish shape. I have about a foot and a half of uh, end here. Okay, for my working end, make that fish shape. Take the other rope and lay it across the body of the first fish. And then we're going to make sure we're pinching these uh, strands to make sure we are keeping the shape. And then instead of going over this first one, because you see it will end up going right through that, we want to go underneath to push the strands together. So we go underneath and then we go every other. So now we're going over, we keep wrapping around, we go under over the purple and then under the white again. Okay, so now you see we have these interwoven X's or fish. And so this is ready. We just pull from the standing ends and it switches around to create our Carrick Bend that we can now wait. So we're gonna take this and tie it to the back of the car. All right, we're gonna walk this back tie to the tree. Got a nice big birch here. Just going to do a bowlin right near the base. If you're interested in bowlins, you can check my other videos. That was a snap bowlin. Got a butterfly. A couple wraps with that. Throw the rest in the back. It stretched so far, I have to do it again. So I'm gonna move the camera back a little bit.
So I believe the Carrick Bend is the easiest knot to untie after weighted. So after pulling this until the car's tires spun out is the moment of truth. How easy is it to untie? But before we get there, I want to shout out a thank you to Minog Maniac for his consistent comments on my channel and for those comments about wanting to learn knots even though they can be challenging. And thank you to all of my subscribers and commenters. It's getting a little chillier out here. Let me show you how tight this is tied. It's hard. Those strands are locked together, but I still believe it's going to be easy to untie. Just before we get there, if you haven't already, don't be a square and hit the like button to let me know if you'd like to see more content like this. And don't use a square because this Carrick Band is much better. I also hope you consider subscribing to become an ERT and find your awesome. And if you don't want to miss one of my upcoming videos called How to Untie Tough Knots, then turn on the notifications as well so that you don't miss out. And hey, if you comment, I'll pin the first comment to the top and thank you ahead of time. All right, here it is. So this, I'm just gonna use my fingertips. Now what you're going to do, just like any other knot, you're going to want to take the loops and push them away from the knot. So this loop here and this loop here, we're going to push away from the center mass of the knot. So take this fingertip, okay? And fingertip, okay? So once we push those away, you know, we can do it a little more, but check this out. Again, fingers, we can pull this thing apart. Super simple, very easy to untie. I don't know how many pounds of pressure I was able to put on this or what a Kia Soul weighs, but that's a significant amount of pressure. So comment and let me know what your intended use for this will be and what you think of the video. To join my email list and access my free repelling gear list, then check the links below in the description. Otherwise, if you're interested in ropes and carabiners and all of that repelling sort of gear, then you can also check for those links that will take you to equipment that I would recommend. If you're new to Adventures in Reach, I do inspiring adventures. Uh, tips to help make them happen for you and helping you to expand your confidence outdoors. And if you like ropes, rappelling, knots, climbing like I do, then check the playlist up here for more videos like this. Thanks again for watching.